Hey, welcome. It's Brian, and this is Guitar Solo Reactions, and today we're back with one of my favorite guitar players, Matteo Mancuso, and he is playing a piece called The Great Wall. I believe it's just a solo, guitar solo over a composition, which I love doing. It's short and sweet, around two minutes long, so that'll be fun to do. Uh, Matteo has obviously blown up every great guitar player I can think of, whether it's Steve Vai, uh, you know, Rick Beato, uh, Al Di Miola, um, Eric Johnson, and there's many, many others uh, that escape me at this moment that have been talking about him. And he, if you love fusion guitar or just great guitar playing, he's definitely a great rock player too, but he definitely kind of falls into that jazz rock arena a little bit more. Always fun to watch. So with all that said, if you like this kind of thing, please like, subscribe, and comment. I would really, really appreciate that. And here we go. The Great Wall, Mateo. interesting is he's doing all these incredible runs and he's not he's using this pinky but he's not using it how i usually see someone he's definitely favoring his first and third finger and uh, obviously employing all his fingers but that's not i'm not trying to say he's not but it's kind of interesting because he's using this really cool intervallic kind of approach to the neck where it's you know like someone like me um I'm not comparing myself to him, so let's be blunt. But like a Steve Morris, you know, all the instructional stuff, they're always talking about all four fingers and a certain kind of thing. And I think that what might make him a little more unique in certain ways that he's not using all four fingers all the time. It, it He does a lot of stuff, so I'm kind of talking in generalities here. But anyway, just kind of a cool observation that I don't see him using the pinky as much as I thought he would. Um, so. There we have it, Matteo doing a piece called The Great Wall. I'm not sure if this is off his new record or not, but basically he was just soloing over some cool changes and kind of just, I don't know, he, he kind of leaves nothing on the table in a way. It's like he approaches everything with such great kind of, he attacks it and then the energy's there and then the end there was some kind of cool like a low end vamp and uh, of course it ends. So. I could watch him play guitar all day, uh, and he's one of my favorite, when I do this channel, there's quite a few that I love watching, um, but after a while you kind of know their thing as far as a guitar player goes. With Matteo and certain other players, it's a surprise almost every time, and it's just so fun, and um, with Matteo, it's great, for me it's kind of a throwback to some of my favorite players 
whether it's Scott Henderson or, um, you know, Frank Cambali. Although I'm not a huge fan of Frank Cambali, but I was definitely a fan of uh, Scott Henderson. And, of course, Alan Holsworth um, and many other fusion players that I kind of hear a little bit in here. But I, I actually hear more uh, Scott Henderson, I think, more and more as I listen to uh, Mateo's playing. Obviously, Mateo is approaching it a lot different than Scott does. Um, but y you kind of get that same kind of feel occasionally, which is really, really fun. And uh, he's such an important guitar player to the future of guitar, I think. And uh, that he's a, kind of getting a lot of notoriety, well-deserved, of course, is great. Now that, you know, Jeff Beck is gone and some of these other players are kind of slowly aging out, it's great to see, uh, like, Mateo and the guys from Polyphia, and um, there's just a lot of newer players that are approaching the guitar uh, in a really unique way, kind of taking it into, you know, the whatever century we're in, and kind of making it their own and building on those blocks of, like, some of those incredible 70s fusion players that had tons of chops as well. Um, and now they're approaching some of that same music, but with a different ear, with a more modern ear, I guess. So anyway, uh, Mateo is definitely top of my list of new players for sure. So I am Brian. I appreciate you watching, and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye.